Another day, another story. Borrowing is a common practice in both personal and business finances. It allows individuals and organizations to access additional funds to meet various needs, such as investments, expansion, or addressing financial challenges. When it comes to borrowing, two primary categories are often distinguished. Internal borrowing and external borrowing. In this video we will discuss the concepts of internal and external borrowing, explore their differences, and provide real-world examples to illustrate their applications. Internal borrowing. Internal borrowing refers to the practice of borrowing funds from within an organization or an individual's existing financial resources. It involves reallocating or utilizing available funds in different accounts or departments to meet specific financial requirements. Internal borrowing can take various forms, such as Interdepartmental borrowing In a large organization, different departments or divisions may have separate budgets or accounts. When one department requires additional funds, it can borrow from another department within the organization. For instance, the marketing department may borrow funds from the operations department to finance a new advertising campaign. Cash pooling Cash pooling is a technique used by multinational companies to optimize their cash resources. It involves consolidating funds from different subsidiaries or entities into a central pool. This allows entities with surplus funds to lend to those in need within the same organization. For example, a multinational corporation may borrow funds from a subsidiary with excess cash to meet short-term cash flow requirements in another country. External borrowing External borrowing, as the name suggests, involves obtaining funds from external sources outside of an organization or individual's existing financial resources. It typically requires entering into a borrowing agreement or obtaining credit from financial institutions, governments, or other entities. Some common examples of external borrowing include Bank loans. Businesses and individuals often rely on bank loans to access additional funds. Banks provide loans based on creditworthiness, collateral, and the purpose of borrowing. For instance, a small business may secure a bank loan to purchase new equipment or expand its operations. Government bonds. Governments issue bonds as a way to borrow money from investors. Bonds are debt instruments with fixed interest rates and maturities. Investors purchase bonds, effectively lending money to the government, in exchange for periodic interest payments and the return of the principal amount at maturity. Examples include treasury bonds and municipal bonds used to fund public projects and government initiatives. Peer-to-peer -peer lending Peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms connect borrowers directly with individual lenders. These platforms facilitate borrowing outside the traditional banking system, allowing individuals and small businesses to access loans based on their creditworthiness. Borrowers benefit from potentially lower interest rates, while lenders earn interest on their investments. Platforms like Lending Club and Prosper are prominent examples of peer-to-peer -peer lending. Internal and external borrowing serve as crucial financial tools for organizations and individuals alike. Internal borrowing leverages existing resources to fulfill financial needs within an entity, while external borrowing involves seeking funds from external sources. By understanding the differences and examples of internal and external borrowing, individuals and businesses can make informed decisions regarding their financing strategies. Whether it is optimizing available resources or seeking credit from external sources, a balanced approach to borrowing can contribute to effective financial management and achievement of desired goals. Thanks for watching, 